Hey YouTube, we are back again and today I want to show you how to hook up your car stereo amplifier and even subwoofer. A lot of people were asking how do you hook up a subwoofer and amplifier to your car stereo in the house. Now we already showed you earlier how to hook up the car stereo directly into the house so if you just want to watch that video you can. Now this is going to be a more advanced setup and let's go talk about some of the things you're going to need. You're going to need at least one set of RCA cables. If you only want to hook up a subwoofer you may only need one of these. If you want to hook up a subwoofer and maybe the front speakers to your amplifier, you're going to need two. Another thing you're going to need is, of course, the car stereo amplifier itself. This is a four-channel amplifier kicker. It's 150 watts. You are going to need that. And you're going to need one that, of course, it works. You're going to need your car stereo head unit. This is an Alpine head unit. And you're going to need your speakers, your two front speakers, and your subwoofer. And the next two things you're going to need is a power plug, like so, with the other end cut off. Now that's to hook up the, uh, the regulated power supply. And this is what uh, makes this all possible. This is a 12 volt regulated power supply. And this, this one's, like I said, a 200, I think it's 240 or 250 watt power supply. And it's 240 watt because it's a 20 amp. And so that uh, power cord is going to plug up here. If you don't know how to plug one of these up, watch my earlier video. I tell you how to do that. But you are going to need those all to hook up this. Now let's talk about this regulated power supply for a second. That way you know which one to get. You may say 240 watts doesn't seem like a lot. The way you're going to know how many watts or how, how big of a regulated power supply at 12 volts you need is going to be dependent on the actual components that you have hooked up to it. And that is by a number that you're going to find on your components called RMS. So you may take a look at car amplifiers and like this might say it's a 500 watt power amplifier. Well, you're going to look at the 4 ohm or 8 ohm, whatever you're running your speakers at, RMS. And this particular one, it's RMS is 150 watts. Now it's peak might say something like 500, but it's RMS, which means continuous power. It's only 150 watts, so you don't need anything bigger than that to run that particular unit. And same with your car stereo. Your car stereos typically are very weak between 60 to 100 watts RMS, uh, if that. I mean, most of them are about 15 watts by 4, um, so you don't need much. And in this case, we're not actually going to be running any speakers off that, so you're going to need even less just to turn it on and, and keep the power. So this will be plenty for those two units. Um, so let's talk about how we hook this up. Basically, we're going to hook up all the power to this unit right here. So we're going to hook up the power to that and the power to that. First thing you want to do is turn your car amplifier around and look for the wires that you need to use in this. Now, I've went ahead and crimped all these other ones I don't need, but you need your yellow, red, and black. My, unit, my red is the switch power, my yellow is the battery lead. So those are the two uh, you need. And then you're also going to need your black, which is your negative. And we're going to take those and put a little larger wire connecting to your power supply. Now, make sure you check to see what gauge you need. Check a wire gauge. It will tell you based on how many feet that you run and how many wattage you're running to uh, how, how much you need for the power there. Um, with as small as I'm running, I'm only going to need about 16 gauge although yours may vary, so make sure you check that. All right, so we have them both hooked up, and we have both the positive and negative hooked up. Now all we have to do is bring them to our power supply. If you notice our power supply, it's very hard to see, um, but there's some lettering here, and they're labeled. Some say COM and some say V++. COM is sometimes said uh, negative. So uh, you're going to want to hook up the red to one of these V++ and the black to one of the comms. It doesn't matter which one. We have our first two electrical wires hooked up. However, that's only supplying electricity to this. We also need to supply electricity to your amplifier. Let's turn your amplifier around. The amplifier says right on it, ground, remote, and 12 volt. Now there is a remote on this. Let's explain what the remote does. 
you do not have to hook that up if you don't want to. The remote is usually a blue and white wire. The remote blue and white wire hooks up from here and into the amplifier. And what that does is when you turn this unit on, the CD player on, it will then turn on the amplifier. So when you turn this off, it turns the amplifier off. So if you want the amplifier turned off, which I'm assuming you would if this is off, then you're gonna to wanna to run your remote wire from here. If you want your amplifier on all the time, then you're gonna run your positive wire to there, your negative wire to there like normal, and you're gonna jump the remote and the positive 12 volt here. That means anytime this power supply is on, this will be on. So you'll just run a small cable that will connect those two. All right, I'm done hooking that up. If you notice, I hooked the VCC and GND up to here. Now, if you notice, the remote is not hooked up yet. And I know I found my blue and white on the back. Now we're going to hook this up directly into the remote. And now we have all the power hooked up to all the devices that we need power. Now we just need to hook up a couple other things. So let me uh, turn the radio around and show you what needs to happen next. If you turn your radio around, you're going to notice... Uh, some RCA outputs. Now mine has three sets. Now by these, they typically have lettering by them. Mine have an F, an R, and an SW. Now they're in the metal imprinted in there and it's really hard to see. This one says R, this one says F, and this one says SW. SW is for your subwoofer, F is for your front speakers, and R is for your rear speakers. And what that does is that plugs up into the amplifier, into whatever amplifier that you're gonna use, and that sends the signal to it. So, You'll notice on your amplifier, and those are just RCA plugs, you'll notice on your amplifier, I have a four channel, and you'll notice it has two different inputs on here. Now one is for amp one, and one is for amp two. So you can pick whichever one you want to use for whatever speaker, like amp two I usually use for subwoofer. If you notice, I've already moved it over to low pass, and amp one I put on full range, which turns this crossover off. We're gonna run, um, two RCAs from the SW out on here for your subwoofer. So if you just want to hook up subwoofers, that's all you need to do. Plug it up to here to there. Um, and I'm also going to run a pair for the fronts. So I'll do that right now. So now we're plugged up. The only thing we have left to do is plug up the speakers and we're good to go. All right, if you notice, I hooked up the subwoofer and all the speakers, and now I just have to hook up the power to this, and that's what plugs into the wall and gives everything its power, and then we will just turn everything on so that you can see it. All right, guys, so let's turn it on. As soon as we turn on the head unit, you should start seeing a light right here, which will turn on for the amplifier, signifying that that also turned on. Ah, let's see. Light turned on the amplifier, light turned on here. And now all we have to do is plug it into aux and press play. And I'm going to play uh, Don't Stop by uh, Audionautics. <laughs> able to go into your settings and turn your subwoofer volume down and up. You can tell a big difference. Anyway guys, let's just go ahead and mute that. That is all you have to do. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new and as always, if you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks guys. Have a great day.